Hey guys and welcome back to Let's Play Stellaris as the XCOM Unity. And uh, we are currently just researching stuff and uh, having a blast trying to uh, upgrade our fleet just a little bit. Not too fast, but um, also trying to uh, kind of focus our attention elsewhere. What happened here? Oh, glitch. Fine. Fleet order finished. Call out a complete construction of a research station. Okay, good. And um, we aim to establish an emissary on Tebor for the future betterment of Tebron and the XCOM Unity of Diplomacy. Okay, that's these guys. They 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 want to be friends because they know that we can hurt them. And actually, since we're going to form a federation, hopefully, uh, I would actually try and wage a work on the uh, whatever these guys, Quefos Confederation. They are a mega co corporation and xenophobic isolation. Try and conquer these or vassalize them and give them to these guys so they can grow a little bit. And uh, oh, invite alliance. Yes. <laughs> we have considered your offer carefully and decided to join the Star Compact. Yay! Fort Chain. A number of individuals belonging to the presenting native population of Asgard somehow got in into a secure combat on the outskirts of our colony. They were chased off within hours, but not before severely damaged several install uplinks dedicated to currency transfers. Oh no, we fear several hundred credits may have been lost in the either. Unfortunate. Well, lucky us, we have lots and lots of credits. Hi, do you like us? Uh, not at the moment. Okay, Colonel Federated. Confederated Sintomori states votes yes. Okay, but the Truscan Assembly votes no. Okay, fine. Actually, can I recall my embassy? Yes, I can. Can I establish embassy? Yes, I can. So, yes, 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 yes. I know. We just have to build stuff. Because, why not? And we need one or more to form a... Um, Confederation, as you can see here. Uh, fleet. We got the biggest fleet, but uh, these guys—they're not far behind. How? How big fleet? Construction complete. Twelve hundred. Whoop! They do. I think you guys need to upgrade your stuff. Just a tiny bit. Let's see here. Here we can build a. Good question. I want to build a power plant. And how long? Quite some time. I'm gonna upgrade this one, I'm gonna upgrade this one, and then this one. And hope it won't take too long. And actually, I'm gonna build a um, hydroponic farm there, and one over there. Mainly to be able to have Earth as a um, <sighs> production planet. The only thing it will produce is people, and they will move around and settle our plants. And look at this. We can um, do something here. Three. Human, 55, or 65% Karabner, 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 Karabner. That, that is these guys. We could, if we select their planet, which would be this. Build spaceport and colony ship. And we can actually choose which we want. And of course, we want the... Uh, 
the one with the spiritualist, which makes people happier, or well, at least them happier. And we can settle colonies which they like. And by the way, I could actually check what they like while I'm at it. They like tundra. Do we have any tundra worlds inside of our border? We have one there with 85% habitability. That is really nice. Unfortunately, we can't colonize it because we don't have the tech. Which is kind of weird. Seeing these guys would have the tech, I mean... But anyway, that, that's not the issue right now. We want to build our fleet and uh, hopefully scare off or scare these guys enough to uh, join us. Mm. Hopefully they join us. They are xenophile, pacifist, which means that they don't really want to go to war. They do less damage and uh, they get a little bit unhappy when they are in war. But, you know, they're also... <laughs> Collectivist, so slaver, woohoo! Which means they have to kind of go to war. Probably not the best use of um, ethics, but okay, fine. And uh, these guys are individualists, so they make more energy. Also, spiritualists, which make them happy. And pacifists. Awesome. So we got two people who don't want to go to war versus, you know, us. Well, we're not we're not militarist at least, because then we will never get anything done. And these are fanatic spiritualists. So we got a Research bunch complete. of uh, of religious people. Warp drive three, awesome. Hello. Global Research Initiative. Map the stars. This idiot pushes the, pushes the further galactic exploration to bring light to the darkness and find what wonders lie beyond. Cost 0 0.85 influence each month to maintain. Service be 25% and anomaly discovery chance plus 10%. Uh, okay, fine. That, that's not really super. But energy storage capacity 500 and power hub 2. I'm gonna go for that. And uh, seriously, army upkeep or biolab? I'm gonna go with biolab because research. Okay, so um, you are going there in a short while. By the way, who is not voting? Comment cited. A small celestial object with pro pronounced gaseous and particulate tails was recently observed in the solar system. Its passing was uneventful. It is a good omen. And Tsarskeran don't want you guys to join in for some reason. How about you? No one wants you in. And same here. Yeah, maybe we can get these guys. Nope. And those guys are in the lines. How about you? You are in the lines. I would love for a map mode that showed people who aren't in the lines. Hello, are you in one? No, but you are... A military dictatorship, hegemonic imperialists. You are collectivist and fanatic militarists. And you are rivaling Galactic Mythfell Mandate, Drill Perfin Republic, and an, an unidentified empire. <coughs> no one wants you in. Same with. Well, you are at war for some reason with Saturn Alliance of Stars. Okay. You two are tugging it out. Hello. You are right. You are the uh, uplifted ones. Right. 
memory is a little bit short sometimes. What do we have here? The Ravenous Soul Core. Can we go here? No, because probably uh, level 3? Scientist Guild 3 or higher? Of course, of course, of course. And of course, all of a sudden, we are losing money. But hopefully, we will change that pretty soon. This is... Oh, colony! Upgrade it! Then we'll get some um, bonus to our power plant. Both of them, actually. Perfect. And this is... Yeah, this is the plant here. Admi administration. And as you can see... Construction th complete. It gets plus one for being next to the admin building and plus 10% for being or having a power hub and also plus 10% because we're all happy that is awesome you have finished something probably building the uh, the hydroponics work. right I keep forgetting that building stuff cost money or cost upkeep oh well it could be worse active volcano let's uh, deactivate it put a big boulder in it the opening and nothing bad will ever happen right no pressure will build up damn this is actually going pretty fast how long whoa okay clearing a, a, a volcano you are really good at it snakeman how we, how are we going here a little bit over 11 years 12 years something like that so um, 2272 maybe we will get a a couple of new plants, uh, I believe four, right. Four plants and 46 pops. They are disloyal. I wonder why. But I mean, we wanted them. And the trust care ensemble still votes no. Huh. I actually, complete. I would like there to be a um, some sort of uh, option in here to tell them to uh, like focus on building up their fleet. You know, when you want to prepare a war, so you don't have to wait for an eternity, and they will be like, "No, we don't have any ships, so we can't really do much," and you know. Hopefully you can take care of everything for us and we just sit back and watch while the world burn And then you will sit there and lose ship over ship and the war goes horribly and everything goes to hell No, that doesn't really happen Usually they they will come in um, and help you Even if they are disloyal, they will actually come and fight and um, having allies and vassals are really really powerful especially if you want to uh, I don't know say attack an um, fallen empire though I kind of don't you know see that as a good thing they are not the uh, most friendly of people Repugnant. Are these guys repugnant? Construction they, complete. Well, well, fine. They are not the most, you know, beautiful-looking people, aliens in the world. But you know, 
everyone's unique, no one's perfect. I mean, who knows? In his um, world and culture, he might be the most uh, fabulous person. We don't know. We will probably know when uh, they, if they change leader and something like that. Imperial Racket and Stars have ended a rival with Galactic Mythfell. Oh, these guys? Yes. Awesome. Good job, guys. You are still allies right there. Good. Or less good because. Hmm. I want you to join me. Oh, hi. Fidgeting. The near sentient natives of Asgard are causing a ruckus on the outskirts of a colony. Something about the excommunicate continued presence. Yeah, we, we can try and figure out where they go. It's happening again. Maybe they have another of those. Lost and forgotten. Wow. So we've gotten this twice now? Well... I don't complain. Free research. That is quite nice. Uh, rival ended and... Yeah, they, they just stopped rivaling each other. Has this war stopped yet? No. Oh, they are fighting another war too, or, well, defending against, uh, I don't know. I just want you guys, I want you guys to like these guys, so we can invite these guys to us. Or, you know... Come out of Sintomori Utlak. You, 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 um. You guys like everyone, it seems. By the way, these are also Xenophiles. You know Construction what? complete. It's these guys that don't want us to, um. Or rather, don't want these guys. I guess it's because they are on the edge of the alliance. They don't want it to the members to be away from them. Because, you know, they are actually at the front door of the, these guys. Well, except for this little complete. area here, but you know what I mean. And um, I can kind of see that they don't want to be the first targeted. But it's okay, guys. Nothing bad will ever happen. As long as you're allied to me, I will, you know, protect, protect you and you will be happy and you will probably not die. And if you die, well, don't blame me. Blame yourself that you didn't expand further down here or up here. Tundra. What? Right. What kind of... You are Tundra. Hey, you. There's a world for you over here. Go expand here. Here, ocean. I would also like that if you become a um, federation, you could uh, colonize plants within your friend's area. Now, I, I can see why they don't have it, seeing as, you know, a federation collapses and oh crap I have planets within my enemies now oh no but yeah it, it would, would be nice to have it as an option at least right wormhole stations and you guys have wormholes we have to work around that okay you what can we do with you Go here and build a research station. Thank you very much. And when you are done, you are currently building a research station. Which means that you can go over here and build one. Have we missed something? I don't think so. I want to go over here. And claim this. I want to, but I can't, because I don't have the influence to build a uh, 
a frontier outpost. <clears throat> Still no. Why? Oh, by the way, can we kick this out guy out? No, we cannot. We need at least four members for a federation. I want to know if my assumption is correct that they don't want these guys to be in because they're far away. Or maybe they uh, just, you know, aren't friendly enough with each other. Could also be that. But anyway, it's time to wrap this up. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.